Hello, I'm Paul Rudd. I was also in that movie with Ron Burgundy. Don't give two flying about those other podcasters, the ones that everybody listens to. Who cares about them? I'm a dramatic actor, but I do mostly comedies. Figure that one out. I'm Paul Rudd, and enjoy this independent podcast. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? Oh, whatever. This show is clean, pretty much. Mike's Daily Podcast. Episode 843. Hello, this is Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway here at the last place on earth located somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Today it's part three of my intimate interview with Pete Jordan of the Washington band Cloud Person and singer-songwriter Kai Alfred Hillig. We hear some of Kai's music, plus we hear from Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, the brewmaster. And back in the day, Jupiter wandered around. Mike's daily podcast like a bull in a china shop wait is that racist i was i always thought jupiter was a bigot one bigot planet and round Mike's daily podcast well i don't know but there are a couple things about which i am very thankful and that is i can watch basil during the day during his awful ordeal of healing after that handful or pawful of drama he had to deal with last week I'm full full of happiness that I can talk to the ultra cool Mike's Daily Podcast singer songwriters Kai and Pete and I just want to say Metamucil Mike's does something that daily I have no idea podcast what it is yeah now some random lyrics you've got those sexy eyes enticing thighs you make me rise Okay, look who just walked in. Hi, Mike. How y'all doing? It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. And it's the brewmaster. No, you're not. You're the disgruntled fiddle player. Tell you what. What? It's awful to see an animal go through pain. Unless I'm killing it to eat it. I'm talking, of course, about a cow because I believe in beef. Beef? Yeah, it's what's for dinner. Wow, you could replace, what's his name, Sam Elliott? Or is it Sam... Smith, Sam, Sam, I am. Who does that? Yeah, that guy's really good. He was in the Big Lebowski. That's true. I love these conversations we have. I don't. Hey, Ted Cruz just announced he's going to run for president, and that makes me one step closer to having Rand Cruiser. Yeah, because you want uh, Rand Paul and Ted Cruz to run together. Now, you wanted Rand Paul for president, though. This is kind of weird. Ted Cruz for vice president doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Oh, wait. I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background. There's like a thap, thap, thap. That's Basil trying to scratch himself. He's still got that uh, cone on his head. I feel bad for him, like I said. And I'm not going to eat him. That's good. Yeah, because last show we were discussing about how Basil kind of looks like a reverse nipper. Uh, Like, uh, you know... Uh, also a walking spiral coin gravity display. Oh, th- he just shook. <laughs> Basil, you're really imposing yourself on today's today today's podcast. I said that absolutely correctly. Shelley Shuhart did not like the way I was making funny names for Basil, though. Yeah, you know, she's very sensitive. But she's a lovely young lady. That's true. We love her working here. Mark, I'm a nice young lady, too, right? Yes, exactly. <clears throat> you know, we were also talking about uh, another lady who's actually about my age now, Jennifer Conley, and how she is so arresting, even now, and she will always be. And we, we were, this was Pete Jordan, Kyle Alfred Hillick, and Brian Jackson, who uh, is kind of like their tour manager on this tour they're on. We were discussing Jennifer Conley and the movie Rocketeer. <laughs> All four of us were like, wow, she was so hot in that movie. Look who else just walked in. Hello, Mike. Can I make the root beer and the brewmaster? Oh, boy. Brewmaster, did you make a delicious Jennifer Connolly root beer? I did, because I knew you were going to be talking about her because she's so lovely. And we were talking about how that movie she did with, like, there was a bunch of people in it, Drew Barrymore, Scarlett Johansson. What was that called? Was that Valentine's Day? I forget. Or no, uh, he's just not that into you. Thank you. Yes, I did go to see that. I was married at the time. I was forced to. And then I wanted to go too. But yeah, she 
Jennifer Connelly gets cheated on because uh, Bradley Cooper, her husband in that movie, cheats on her with uh, Scarlett Johansson. So, and then we were having the discussion about how Scarlett Johansson isn't just not that good looking. It was a weird discussion, the four of us, but I unfortunately did not have mic recording. Uh, Mike wasn't recording with the mic, so that's unfortunate. But you know what? There's a, another great part of the interview coming up this show in just a moment. But first, a fascinating story about Jupiter. Let's hear it for Jupiter, a big planet that's gaseous, kind of like me. According to MercuryNews.com, that's interesting that the planet Mercury has its own news website. That's and yet, and we're talking about now another planet, and that would be. No, of course, this is from San Jose. Uh, Jupiter used to be this, like, a giant billiard ball that was unruly when it was young. It shattered early planets, and it cleared out once a once-crowded community around our sun, according to UC Santa Cruz astronomers in a new report that was revealed today. They say there were collisions, high-speed mashups, which made a lot of fragments hitting other fragments in a chain reaction. From their deaths came a big mess of dust and rocky debris, the ancestral ingredients of our planet and Mercury and Mars and Venus. Astronomers have long puzzled over why there are no planets inside Mercury's orbit. It just totally empty field, avoid just solar winds, say the researchers. The mystery has deepened as we've learned more about other solar systems Thanks to NASA's uh, Kepler satellite, this stretch of real estate is plenty valuable elsewhere, we've learned. Other solar systems, almost 500 at last count, typically have many planets orbiting much closer to their host star than our Mercury does to ours. These solar systems also tend to have giant planets like Jupiter, dubbed the king of planets, much closer to their suns. So... There's no way to witness the actual event, of course, that took place in the first one to three million years after the formation of our sun. Using pencils, papers, and computers, they've recreated what would have happened if we started out like other solar systems with a set of rocky planets with close-in orbits. They included in their analysis a leading new theory called the Grand Tack. This is modeled after tacking yachts. Blown from one side to another But instead of a graceful ship Jupiter swept through the the early solar system Like a wrecking ball Like a Miley Cyrus Naked riding it Smashing nascent planets into smithereens Then Saturn sucked it back And retreated into its now mannerly orbit Destroyed this first generation of planets Including a newly formed super-Earth And several super-Earths, it says Spiraled into the sun then a second generation of inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, all those uh, uh, albums by Wings. I couldn't think of Paul McCartney's second band after the Beatles. Didn't they have an album called Venus and Mars? That may explain why these planets are less massive. They formed out of that debris. They have much thinner atmospheres than would otherwise be expected It could also explain why there's a void inside of Mercury's orbit. What do you think about all this? And are you into astronomy? And what do you think of UC Santa Cruz? Have you been there? Did you go there and and say, uh, oh my gosh, why are they called the banana slugs? That's a strange. And what do you think of the planets? And what do you think about how Zach Galifianakis looks just like Louis Vuitton? It's true, and Jennifer Lo- Lo- Lawrence looks like Egyptian actress Zubayda Thwart. Anyway, you can tell me, email me, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. We read your comments on the section, emails from email. Also, email me there if you'd like to be a guest on the show or if you'd like to sponsor the show, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. And there's the website, Mike's Daily Podcast, which has got all kinds of links like where to listen to us in iTunes. Go to iTunes and you can comment and rate the show there. If you do that, more people find out about us and we don't languish in obscurity, which is kind of like uh, Paul Rudd was trying to say at the beginning of the show. You can also hear us on YouTube, SoundCloud, TuneIn, Stitcher, Podomatic, MixCloud, Spreaker, Player FM. We're on a Maris stream. And now I am doing a 
weekday show from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on a Connecticut radio station. And there's a link to where to hear that at mikesdailypodcast.com. Also, you can share this show with your friends, like on Facebook. Like the Facebook page when I post a new show. Share it with your friends and more people find out about us. And I'm also on Twitter. You can retweet when we post a new show to your friends and more people find out about us too. Or your followers, I guess is what they're called on Twitter. You can also find us on Instagram, Yelp, and Tumblr. Links to all of that. And the Amazon link, if you're going to buy anything on Amazon, go through that at mikesdailypodcast.com. And strangely enough, the link shows on my website, it's always showing uh, books about uh, buffing up by an author named Michael Matthews. Yes, apparently there's a Michael Matthews who's super buff and taking steroids and a big mess. And apparently he writes books and makes a bunch of money with that. Not that I'm jealous or anything or envious. And uh, Basil is looking at me now through his cone of shame and saying, really, don't say that about other Michael Matthews's. They might be nice people. You're right, Basil. I agree. And now, can you give us a bark? Excellent. And there's the, so if you buy anything through Amazon, that helps us out. If you go through mikesdailypodcast.com, there's the blog, the daily podcast picture, and all my past interviews at mikesdailypodcast.com. And speaking of interviews, into an interview. So we've been speaking to Kai Alfred Hillick and Pete Jordan. This uh, recording taking place at an unspecified date, but it's not St. Patrick's Day. It's not, what's the next big holiday? Wait, so this is probably Boxing gonna, Day. Easter. Okay, now no. you guys are doing uh, Boulder, Colorado. Yeah, no, you, Boulder, Nevada. Nevada, Boulder, Boulder City, oh, Boulder City, Boulder City. Boulder City but Nevada. we're doing Reno, is, Reno later today. Is that the capital of Nevada, Boulder City? Yes, it is. I don't know. What? And and you're doing Reno tonight. Uh, tonight. Yeah, I believe it's Carson City. Reno, and it, over when you p- pass in the arch over the road, says the saddest place on earth. <laughs> you know, it says the smallest big town. Yeah, the place that we almost bombed. We're going to cross, cross the state line, and Kai is going to veer off the road. Now, th- by the time this plays, you've already played in Reno. How did yeah. the show go? Uh, the show went well. Uh, the audience could have been better. We did. We were amazing. Uh, judging them again, let's. I'm. I'm. I'm really going to go with this thing. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, the audience was a six and a half. For drunkness, they were a twelve. Uh, for amount of metal T-shirts, an amazing fourteen. Awesome. I... <laughs> the whole time he's looking at Brian the whole time Kai does that but we sold a ton of stuff they all told me I was incredibly handsome mm-hmm. they said hey tall drink of water can I have a sip I said no I fell asleep in the back and didn't play Pete yeah no Tonight. you robbed Reno of your talents well Mr. Negative over here just made me want to drink whiskey <laughs> no you can't fall off that wagon and drink whiskey I might no What's your favorite whiskey? Bullet. Who makes that? Bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Hotter than Bond, cooler than Bullet. It, where is Bullet located? Kentucky. Oh, okay. Stomach. <laughs> stomach. It mouth, goes in your mouth, hole. Mike. mouth hole. It goes in stomach. Mouth hole. <laughs> um, Bourbon whiskey. So, Kai, refresh our memories. How did you get into making music? Uh, I saw Back to the Future. And <laughs> what? Saw, I'm sorry. Wait, and, and Huey Lewis going, you're too loud. No, I saw, I saw the hoverboards, oh. and I thought the only way to get one <laughs> is to make a lot of money. And, you know, I saw, uh, <laughs> they did do Johnny Be Good in Back to the Future. Right. And I thought, yeah, I could, oh, that's, that, that seems right. I could do that. Ah, that's all. That's that really that that's really the genesis, which is the dumbest really? thing. Yeah, I thought, look at him do that thing on his knees there with the guitar. You know, yeah. I, no one told me. Oh, by the way, that's that's Chuck Berry. That's not Michael yeah. J. Fox. Yeah, but you know, God, you're young. I'm super young and incredibly attractive. God I damn know. you! I know. I'm like a statue, like a statue holding a dog. A reptilian <laughs> holding ba- statue, holding Basil, cradling Basil. Oh, Basil! So- oh, his little foot just shook like he's in a dream. Yeah. He's dreaming. He's, he's dreaming. dreaming. He's in Back to the Future. He's dreaming every lyric you ever wrote, including <laughs> I, that would be so amazing uh, and sad. It's yeah. okay, buddy. So speaking of German dogs, because Basil is part German, because oh. the, they came from Munich apparently. This is before Hitler, so this is okay. Oh, good. 
This is when before Germany the Kaiser. Was, yeah, I think so. Good. No, oh. Kaiser K Y E. Oh, Kaiser K-C-R. was pretty bad. Dude. Yeah, he was. So I don't know. Maybe he has evil in his heart. Let's say he's Austrian. No judgment. Okay. No judgment. Nope. But uh, but he's sleeping and happy on your lap, Kai Alfred Hillick. Tell me about they the song. Are. Berlin ain't what it used to be because you in. In this, you're so soothing and disturbing at the same time. Is what Am I? I? <laughs> how? How is? I wonder how. What is? How is it soothing and disturbing? That was just because you, you've got the the, 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 the soothing voice of an tones, angel. yeah. But then the the lyrics hit you in such a way. I mean, it's. I love it because I'm a fan of things that aren't what you expect. You know, like when you were talking about earlier of um, the tenderloin was yes. it or something that oh, tenderloins was, I don't know I really wasn't listening yeah. but there was that's something okay. it wasn't either. <laughs> something yeah so that's what is I mean it draws you in and I watched the people last night at vacation as you were like all of a sudden talking about uh, but I gave her bad sex or whatever it was you know oh, yeah. and, and then and then the people were like whoa and then you name checked uh, some movie oh Gwyneth Paltrow and Ethan, Ethan Hawke Hawk, yeah. oh yeah and then something yeah. something Electric Shock or something I forget how a you, Toxic Shock I believe toxic. Is no I don't know I don't remember no it's not and it's the lyrics are, he makes them up every night you do yeah. no, on no, the no. spot I'm not that smart oh uh, but anyway I love the lyrics and tell me about this song uh, the Berlin song I, I used to work for um, uh, a, a, a trauma cleanup company so people would shoot themselves or their family members would shoot them or people would shoot each other or mostly that's what was going on and so I would go in and clean up after them after they were dead like Sunshine Cleaning Company yeah a lot like that except for uh, we were less attractive (laughs) yeah Um, how do you get the two most attractive women you get Amy Adams and Emily that would never happen that would never happen they'd be like sweetie you could do literally just you know you could do anything why are you here it's Emily Blunt right I I don't remember I did see the movie but is that the British actress she has the most disarming beautiful face you've ever seen yeah they are not trauma clean up gals um, but uh, so I, w- I was working there and I worked with these two uh, old German gals that were like they lived together and they constantly fought um, and they were uh, yeah and I, I was always kind of one of them uh, who had passed away I mean it's a song it tells a story but um, she passed away and, and but her and I, I used to always jokingly say I was going to take her out I was like you know Cla- uh, Linda when are you going to let me uh, take you out to Sizzler you know I'm getting paid on Friday and stuff like this <laughs> you know and, 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 and she'd be like oh Kai I'm too young for you I'm too young stop it but she'd be like blushing and stuff and uh, it, it's so you know just kind of hooliganizing her you know so I love your German girl voice <laughs> yeah and, and th- that's what I mean that's later <laughs> Hosen yeah <laughs> oh you, you said you like Craig Ferguson right what do we do with one bing uh, we talk with German accent two dings still German accent three dings Dracula <laughs> <laughs> he does it Dracula with his claw. he's amazing I love him Craig Ferguson okay and that was Emily Blunt by the way <laughs> Oh, you you, go, you go googled it. Yeah, I, I type really slow though. I just got done finding that out. Uh, <laughs> Berlin ain't what it used to be. It's Kai Alfred Hillick. Where can they find this song? On Bandcamp. Go to Bandcamp and uh, type in my name that you can't spell. K um, <laughs> Y E Alfred. You know how to spell that. If you don't, then don't Google me because I don't want you to listen to my music. Um, Hillig, H I L L I. Lord Hill over here. <laughs> Pete just did a silent wow. <laughs> don't judge Pete. Don't judge Pete. Oh, uh, that's crazy. Pete Person. You say Pete Person? He called you Pete Person? Oh, Peaches. Silence, Peaches. It's Pete, Pete, yes, Peaches Pete Peaches Jordan. Pete Peaches Jordan. Who was that guy at vacation last night who showed up? We were outside, and he's like got a little bottle, and he's probably 40s or something, and he's like, Yeah, hey, what are your names? Oh, Daniel? Was that? Oh, no, was that was Howie, my drug dealer. Oh, okay. And then you, in, and then Brian introduced. Pete as Peaches. Yep, he did. That was fun. That guy. It was funny because he kept doing. He kept going around getting our names, and he, he would keep forgetting them. But he kept going around the yeah. circle. <laughs> so be like, Kai, Kai, Ope, Kai, Brian, Mike, Pete, Pete, Peach, Pete, Pete, and, then, and then he would do it again. Kai, Kyle. You're like, dude. We get. We just let it go. You're not. You obviously do not have the capacity. You've had some kind of frontal lobe oh. damage, maybe through alcohol it just consumption. Like he didn't get out, and then he pulled out a little tiny. Thing he was a whiskey. swell like, guy. Does anyone want to share this? We're like, buddy, he's like, I'm from you the just block. Suck that yeah. down, buddy. Yeah, you know. How would you even share that? 
I, if I had He's tried to pass share it, I would have just uh, and drank it all. That's whiskey. There's no sharing that, but I, I appreciate his generosity. Yeah. Generosity. Daniel is was a sweet chap. Now, what is Brian exactly to you guys? Nothing. Friend, lover, hero, spooner. Spooner, yeah. Spooner of Kai. Um, uh, Brian is a lot of things. I've known Brian for, what did we decide? 15 minutes, 15 years and uh, or, or so. And he's, you know, maybe 17, whatever, time, some time, enough time for a kid to become old and learn how to drive a car. Um, and uh, uh, Brian has booked shows. He's helped us promote. Because oh, yeah. um, I don't know how to do that. People were like, give us a bio. And I'm like, yeah. Tacoma, Washington, singer-songwriter. That's me, okay? Because I can't. I would talk about myself. I don't know. Look, my, look up my stuff. I don't know. You call it what you want. Uh, and Brian help, helps go. Let's not do that. There's probably a better way. Mm-hmm. You know, so on and so forth. So Brian helps us um, promote and get shows. If and, we ever come off as remotely professional, it's because Brian. And I'm fighting him every step of the way. That's true for peace. And this is Brian's voice. Here, Brian, say something. Something into the microphone. There you go. He called. All he right. called me a d- earlier when I did that. <laughs> For the record, <laughs> so uh, what do you think about that double standard, Brian? Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not arguing that point. No, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> I will not take that <laughs> topping at Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's play. What was it? Berlin ain't what it used to be. It's Kyle Alfred Hillig. Dracula. <laughs> Hashtag. It's coming out of me. <laughs> On Mike's Daily podcast. Yay! Basil celebration! that song love that song so much i had to censor it as we go outside of cafe anyway here at the last place on earth located somewhere in pod castro valley that is kai alfred hillig and berlin ain't it what it used to be and there was yes those little bleeps to cover up the f word but that's also because i had an issue playing it back because i'm having issues with my dell and damn dell i have to um call them I got to get on Dell support and say, what the hell's wrong with this? 
because it keeps uh, glitching and stuff when I'm recording. So that's going to be fixed soon, just like Basil's paw. And here's today's podcast picture. We have the finale of the Into an Interview that we did together tomorrow. And the picture is of Pete Jordan as we were wrapping up the interview and he was leaving. Basil gave him a kiss goodbye. You can see that picture of Pete Jordan, a cloud person now, at mikesdailypodcast.com. Mike, that's really great. You know what? Sometimes people got to use expletives. And on podcasts, generally, people just leave those expletives in. But you go out of your way to bleep them. The ones that I can find, anyway. Yeah, it's kind of like trying to shoot grouse. Uh Uh-huh, I guess. Okay, I got to go back inside cafe anyway. Bye, all bye. I think I left my person there. Mark, she just does that because she likes to make an exit. She doesn't like to make an entrance? Oh, she does that too. But her exit, she's bigger on the exit. Ah, you know, in German, exit is called uh, Ausfahrt. Uh, Wow, that's kind of disturbing. Well, listen to the previous podcast uh, in the interview with Kai Alfred Hillig and Pete Jordan, and you'll appreciate that. And it has to do with Basil, too. No, I know exactly where you're going with that, and you can just stop right now. Rain Cruiser. Yeah, so it's really exciting. The show that they did on Friday was fantastic. At vacation in San Francisco in the Tenderloin, I recorded a little bit of Kai Alfred Hillig there. Mike on the Wild. And I'm dying for your love. No more tears, no more lies. Just you and me in time. Just you and me in time Just you and me in time And there's no future without you here Just batch the rooms and pain and beer And I'll go on broken, I swear I will But I won't open and I won't reveal A heart that I'll never heal Coming inside, it's getting late And I'm dying for your love No more tears, no more lies Just you and me in time Just you and me in time Just you and me in time And I don't care if they think we're wrong And I don't care if they hate this song let them paint the world so black and white I'll take the colors that make up our life And baby, we'll paint the night Come inside, it's getting late And I'm dying for your love No more tears, no more lies Just you and me in time Just you and me in time Yeah, Kai Alfred Hilly, you gotta see him live. He's really great. And he's on this tour. Keep up with where they are. Let's see, they got the got all that. Shut up, Kai. Uh, it's my show. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, let's see. They got it all posted at facebook.com slash Kai Alfred Hillig Music. Yeah, he's got a lot of places still to go to. He's going to be touring all the way with Pete Jordan of Cloud Person through April the 18th is where they're going to wrap it up at Port Townsend, Washington at Sirens. So check out all the places and maybe you can go see them live. They're touring all around the uh, West. That's really great, Mike. I think that Jennifer Connelly's hot too. You know who else is hot is we're featured on Ameristream. That's AmeristreamLive.com. And when you go to that page, the front page has this lovely lady named Amanda that says, Hey guys, you got to check out all the great shows here at Ameristream. So there, that's uh, something else for that part of your brain that was empty, that needed filling. You're welcome. Next show, the finale of my intimate interview with Kai Alfred Hillig and Pete Jordan of the band Cloud Person from the fine state of Washington. Plus, we're going to hear from Adam Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mike.com.
Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.